our action that we did here last week. Uh, Bill 54 is something that is just atrocious. Um, and we have taken a very strong stand that we're not going to let the city torment the houseless population anymore. So me and Jay Lee and one other person who shall remain anonymous um, chained ourselves to pallets and to each other, uh, used lock boxes so that they would have to cut them off of us, and refused to leave a tent. Uh, we are sending a very clear message as we keep telling them we're not going to allow this to happen anymore. And this message was a resounding no to that type of treatment. So, um, mainstream media came out and no mention of our motivations uh, was put out there. Every article was a skeleton, there was nothing on TV. As we know, the revolution will not be televised, but it sure as hell was live streamed and it's going to go to court and uh, we're going to fight it based on necessity because um, it needs to be done. Uh, but one of the things I'm trying to do is get a letter uh, sent out to all the newspapers to hopefully put something in to explain what we're doing. Um, this needs to be edited down because it's a little too long, but I did want to share it with you. When the houseless get off the streets and get in the streets, you will know truth. On Wednesday, September 5th, the 9th U.S. Circuit Court had a ruling that may have an effect on the houseless population on this island. It states, basically, that no city is allowed to seize property for less than 90 days, and right now the city stores it for 30. And it may not destroy items without proper notification or due process. The city violates this every day across the island with a population with little or no ability to reclaim these items or stand up for themselves. We are not homeless. We're houseless. There are many places outside of apartments or houses where we make our homes, have families, and have communities. Home is where the heart is. There is a small portion of us who have chosen to live on the street, streets, such as myself with the Occupy movement. Some have addiction or mental health issues. Some have physical health issues. But most adults have a problem that anyone can fall into at any given time. No jobs and high housing prices. Many live on the streets while going to school. Many live on the streets when they go to work. Many are children. And no matter the history, it is a day-to-day -day struggle to ensure food, protection from the elements, and to find things like bathrooms and hot showers. Ordinance 11-029, a.k.a. Bill 54, if nothing else is immoral, Safety is the issue here. When it rains, having shelter is essential. Before 54 was introduced, people slept in the parks to protect themselves with trees from the rain and brutal sun. As Bill 54 came into the public debate, the houseless population was shoved out onto the sidewalks where we are exposed to air and noise pollution. People are struck by cars while sleeping yeah, on the side of the road. And there is limited yeah, natural okay. shelter from the rain and winds. No better way to gain public support for this bill than to put the ugly truth in front of people's eyes and make them uncomfortable with the harsh reality of the system we live in. Oh. But instead of using this truth as a motivation to fund housing and services or to find ways to increase jobs, a living wage, and to lower housing costs, they have used this as a way to criminalize being houseless. I have been physically separated from my belongings, including medication, just to have them stolen from me or destroyed in front of my face. I have witnessed Vietnam vets physically brutalized in order to rip their belongings from their hands. I have felt the terrorizing power of the city as police stand there and allow them to victimize the houseless population. It is a trauma-inducing and even potential and even the potential of raids have caused me panic attacks. It puts people's health and safety in danger by taking medication, clothing, toiletries, and literally every small amount of protection we have from the weather elements that most people have no issue escaping. The housing department has declared that they put people in a state of crisis in order to help them. 
It seems to me that if you're houseless, you are already in a state of crisis. The notion that you can take someone's only shelter, their belongings, and even medication, then expect them to come to you for help is absurd. If someone came to your home with a large shredder truck and a bulldozer and took everything you owned, destroyed your shelter, and treated you like rats, as the mayor said of this population, would you go to them for anything? On September 6th, 25th, and 26th, the city continued to raid Thomas Square, where I live. On September 26th, myself, along with two others, chained ourselves to a wooden pallet and to, to each other in an effort to stop these violations yeah, yeah. of human rights. The city had five agencies present. HPD, DFM, Parks, EMS, and HFD. They did not have on site any housing representatives to help su provide support. With credit, the EMS and HFP refused to cut us out, citing that they were there to help people and not hurt them. The HPD violates their oath every day by, not re by refusing to protect the public, as, the, as HFD and EMS did. Money is wasted, stealing from the population that needs the most. The city still destroys items that have not been tagged. However, having no, having no way to remove us, they left. Hours later, they arrested myself and one other on misdemeanor charges of obstruction of government operations. I will continue to resist in order to protect these rights, dignity, and quality of life for the houseless population. Yeah. I am asking people to let your city council member know that Bill 54 needs to be repealed. If I want, if we want to eliminate the houseless population, we need proper funding for these departments. We need humane and just and reasonable procedures to get this population stable and to dissipate. If there is a focus on local jobs and affordable housing, the whole island benefits. Housing rights are human rights and they affect everyone. Yeah! yeah.